Today I'm going to go through the step-by-step -step process of taking a resource pack, so say something like this urban resource pack, which has uh, sort of physically based characteristics, like you can see there's really cool bump maps on here and, and so on, and take that resource pack and turn it into a bunch of textures that Mineways likes. Um, in theory, Mineways could go and look at that resource pack, but there's very good reasons that you might want to not do it that way, that you want to sort of pay attention to what that resource pack has and how you might want to change it. So let's go through that. So first things first, I'm going to download the resource pack. Uh, this one, I'll, I'll give the URL for this particular one in the, uh, in the notes, but somewhere down here, there it is. Okay, so I'm just going to download this thing and and we'll see in a minute. Uh, this is, you know, I'm going to quickly download, I hope. And sure enough. And so what I want to do is I want to take that and put it into uh, into a directory where uh, all this stuff lies. So what I've done here is I've basically just downloaded Mineways itself and put it in temp just for demonstration purposes. And in TileMaker is the place that I want to kind of put all this stuff from that, that uh, download. So if I go like this, and it gives you a default directory. That's not where I want to go. Um, we're going to put it in TileMaker, and let's just call it Urban. So, okay, so that's going to all put that there. And yeah, sure enough, I made this place Urban. And if you look in Assets, Minecraft, Textures, Block, you'll see there's a bunch of textures here. And they these are indeed the ones, you know, 99% of the ones that you want to put into uh, or that you want to use for, for Mineways. So the trick here is that, uh, like I say, I do it in two steps. And the first step actually, well, the uh, first thing you have to do is go to your lower left-hand corner where there's that little search, that little white search window in Windows, and you type command. I can't really show that in this video just because my screen's uh, cut off you know, at this point to let you be able to see what the heck I'm typing. Um, but anyway, I've typed command, this window comes up, and now I just do a cd temp, and that takes me to the topmost directory. And you can see there's Mineways in there, so I can go cd m, and if I just hit m and I hit tab, it'll fill, it'll autocomplete for me. And again, I can look in there, and there's a whole bunch of stuff in there. Um, but where I wanted to go was to, uh, let's see, where did I want to go? I wanted to go to TileMaker. So what I want to do is go cd tile, and I can just put a little bit of that in, and it'll, again, autocomplete. And that's the place I want to be. So I want to run Channel Mixer and Tile Maker on, on, uh, on this urban guy. So the way that works is you basically want to start by typing in Channel Mixer. Again, I can just type in a few letters, and it'll autocomplete. And then I put I for input, and then I put urban, because that's that's the topmost directory where I just unpacked this whole resource pack. And then I type O and I say, where do I want the output? In other words, it's going to go through urban. It's going to find all the relevant blocks. And now I want it to put them somewhere. So I'll have them put them somewhere different. I'm going to make a directory O blocks urban. So I do that and I get a bunch of warnings. And for the most part, you can ignore these warnings or you can pay attention and kind of decide what you want to do. Um, as it turns out, uh, Minecraft is flexible enough that you can actually do all kinds of crazy things with applying textures to surfaces. Um, you can have variants, you can have different things than defaults and so on. But Mineways basically depends on those defaults. It just uses default names and uh, some variant names and, and says, okay, those are the ones I'm going to look for. So it'll tell you about files that it says, hey, this might be a file you care about, but it's named in some funny way or, you know, it's, it's something, something's going on. Or there's sometimes duplicates, which, uh, you know, that sometimes a, a resource pack maker will have a few variants of a particular texture. And so you might have to go in and decide. And for these reasons that you get these various warnings and that you might care and you want to check them out, um, that's why Channel Mixer does a separate thing from TileMaker. So what did Channel Mixer do? Well, it made this blocks urban thing. It basically sucked out all the all the uh, textures from that urban directory, and that, that it found relevant and put it in the blocks. And it also made the subdirectory chests, which just has chest data. So 
you can see, you know, this this is just a whole bunch of textures. I'm just going to sort of zip through, and you can see, you know, you've got colored ones. You've got there's other ones that are for roughness. There's other ones that are for you know normal maps and so on. I like to give you bumps. This, these kind are, are for normal maps, and um, and they're all named appropriately. Like underscore n is a normal map. So once I've got all these set up, uh, I'm not going to mess with these at all, but you could. Um, now I'm, I'm going to use TileMaker. So TileMaker, again, I'll just type in a few letters, hit tab. And now here I want to put, put D uh, for directory of where did I put the blocks. So I'll put BLO. And if I hit tab, it'll first hit the blocks directory, which is not the directory I want. But if I hit tab again, it'll hit blocks urban. So that's the one I want. And now I want to output this somewhere. And I typically call these things terrain x uh, just for simplicity, just for consistency, and I'm going to put it into this urban.png. And when I hit that, what's going to happen is I'll notice, and I should probably put this earlier on, really, um, but this is a serious warning: is with a texture image size of 5, 5, 512 by 512 um, animation, such as you know Blender and so on. This thing's going to create a much larger texture than we can really use. So I'm going to kill this thing. I'm just hitting Control C, and that kills the program. And so what can I do about that? Or what's going on here? Why is that happening? Um, well, what's happening is if you go through these textures, you know, we'll zip along, and eventually we're going to. You can kind of sort of see what happens is that you'll get one that's like huge, probably. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, there it is. Okay, so there's one that's huge. That one's the one that's 512 by 512. But you can see most of the rest of the textures are all 64 by 64. And that's kind of a good size. So let's let's pick that. And so what we'll do is I go up arrow in my command window, and that gives me what I just typed in before, but it lets me add something to that line. So by adding this dash T space 64, that's saying now, give me something that's 64 by 64. Like I'm going to just pull in the 64 by 64 text. You know, I'm going to make everything fit into a 64 by 64. If it's smaller than 64 by 64, it'll become that size. If it's bigger, it'll become that size. Um, and so you can see there's a few errors here. Uh, mine ways again, these tiled uh, tile maker and so on. They expect powers of two textures that they need to be two, four, eight, sixteen, and so on. Some kind of size like that. Um, and it's up to you that if it isn't that size, what you want to do. Do you want to just ignore it, which you know, TileMaker will ignore it by default, um, or you can upsize it. You can make it, you know, uh, 32 by 32, or you can make it 16 by 16. But somehow you have to sort of adjust these and play with these and, and make them how you feel you want them. But for now, we're just going to ignore the fact that the smokers and whatnot didn't work. Um, so what happened there? Well, we got a few textures out of this. We got these guys that. Basically, are a color texture, uh, a metallic, a normal, and a, a roughness texture. So let's in fact go take a peek at one or two of those. So the uh, the color texture is as you might suspect. It's a bunch of colored textures. Um, the metallic they didn't really have very many metallics. Black just means didn't find anything. There, uh, I'm not showing the whole view of this thing, but um, you know there are a few that have some metallic texture in it. Uh, here's the normal maps. You can see a bunch of got normal maps applied to them. And then there's roughness maps. So some things are rough, some things aren't, and so on. So how does this work? OK, well, we've now got these um, textures that we want to use. And so what we can do is let's just go to Mineways, start it up. And let's see. Now, the trickiest part of this is trying to remember the name of this thing. I think it's, I think it's this one. Yeah, that's the one. So this is just a simple texture test world that's just got a bunch of groups of blocks and uh, so that's the group and one little trick here by the way is that you can turn on show all objects like so for example you just saw if you look carefully you saw some objects appear here these are buttons um, buttons normally are not all that visible so I tend to just keep them hidden on the map uh, but for this kind of thing you might want to you know turn them on so that you can see them mouse over them and whatnot so okay so I've done that and now I'm going to go pick my new texture file. And uh, you know, it was in here. It was in TileMaker. And there's a whole bunch of these. And you always pick the first one. Um, in other words, there's an urban, 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 urban. But these have these suffixes, M for metallic, uh, N for normal, R for roughness. You pick the one that's just the color one. So you pick that one. So now that says I'm going to apply that map, that texture, to 
uh, to my you know, selection. Um, what I'm also going to do at this point is pick the USDA so you can actually see the effect of this uh, PBR stuff. So, okay, I do that. I do, whoops, didn't want to do that. <laughs> uh, let's go back up there. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Um, urban, I'm going to call that. And now I export and nothing fancy. Um, and, you know, I get the usual stats and whatnot. And, uh, and if I look up here, I'll see there's indeed this uh, USDA file, and there's also this material directory with some, you know, stuff like that and all the textures in there and so on. So, okay, so what do I want to do with this? What I can do is, uh, in this case, I use um, this program called Omniverse Create, and I just drag and drop that in. So let's give myself a little room, drop it in, go to the thing, and... Uh, and it takes a few seconds to load the thing up and then compile the textures and so on. But anyway, you get in there, and now I'm just hitting W and uh, sort of, you know, moving around just to go see what's what. Um, let's see. Well, it's an interesting place to look at here. So you can see a whole bunch of textures here. I'm trying to find where, where are the cool textures. Uh, let's see. Let's look in here. Okay, those are pretty good. So, so you can see, actually, like these guys, they have... Uh, bumpiness to them. And if, in fact, if you go in here and you move the sun around, you can see the effect of that. Like you can see as I move the sun's angle, uh, the, the the look of that changes basically. So, you know, here's another way I can move the sun. Let's try that maybe. Anyway, uh, yeah, you, you, hopefully you get the idea that, you know, you've got these textures and they've got a, a cool bumpiness to them. And, and that's because there's indeed a bump map attached to each one. And so that's it. That's all I wanted to show you was that, you know, you really just need to use Channel Mixer and Tile Maker on any resource pack. Um, you can go then mess with the textures as you need to if you want to really be specific. But for the most part, it'll give you something pretty usable and, uh, you know, and, and give you some cool textures. So enjoy. Thanks.